has been going on for a long time. Whenever coaches are coming to the uh, harbour, the taxi drivers are checking all their documents. They want to check the letters, they want to check their documents, they, want, they are behaving like the uh, police. Now, every before every ship comes, one file is given to the police and one file uh, they keep in the vehicle. Now the taxi drivers want another file. Who, who, it is not their duty to check the documents and check all the papers. It is the duty of the police to do that. Now they were allowing this to happen. But now the taxi drivers are now started threatening the coach operators, which is not correct. Now Angria is booking, taking bookings of conferences, big groups. So they have to also contact the hotel to send the buses. So the hotels are sending the buses. And these people are stopping the buses. I can, we can, we have no problem with them. But you are don't, you have no right to stop the buses. Everybody has got a equal right to book whatever transport they want. You cannot say because Angria is coming to the harbour, all uh, you should only use my taxi. No, that is wrong. Two days before the incident happened, the travel agency had gone to the Bodoga police station to give them a letter saying that we are coming with a coach. The police constable on duty did not accept the letter saying the PI is not uh, in his uh, seat. So he did not accept the letter. Those people waited for some time then they came home without uh, giving the letter. Now that is the problem. Now why did the police not accept the letter? Anybody uh, coming with a letter, the, it's the duty of the police to accept the letter. Yes. Oh, I'm upset about this. These are, these are all senior citizens who were travelling. They are saying, we don't know, next time we will not come to Goa. But they have come here for a peaceful stay. And how can you start threatening them and uh, tell them not to take my taxi and all this type of thing. This is happening regularly.